Hey guys, welcome to part three. So here we go. Yes, after she told me that I make her so horny, um, you know, I kind of felt, so, you know, I I liked it, but you know, I felt sore. I felt like I'm not. It's funny. It's funny. I felt sorry for her boyfriend. You know, and if her boyfriend is seeing this video, this is a very an special announcement for him. You know, hey dude, I know. That I fucked with your ex girlfriend because you know you guys are probably not together anymore because you found out and you dumped her. But you know what? You should definitely take my the ultimate dating course. Add me on Facebook and you know we will talk man to man. You know don't be a pussy. Let's talk. You know I'm your friend. I'm not your enemy. And you know we you can just take my boot camp in New York and I can give give you amazing results with the hottest girls. You know I promise you that when you take my boot camp, you're gonna get laid. With at least a nine, you have an eighty-five percent chance of fucking a hot girl. So, dude, you better buy the ultimate dating course. I'll give you ten free boot camps in hell. I'm going to Puerto Rico again because I fucked Anna. So, I'm going to Puerto Rico again, and I'll give you ten free boot camps when you buy the ultimate dating course. So, yeah, it's my mes message to Anna's ex-boyfriend. <laughs> I hope he. You know, I, dude. I know you feel like shit. You know, I know that you feel bad that we, me and Anna, had great sex. But you're my friend, man. You're super cool, and <laughs> I hope I can meet you, man. You know, just don't be a pussy, and let's talk man to man. You know, cause we're grown up, right? So yeah, that's my that's my message to her boyfriend. Speaking of Anna, I'm gonna tell you guys how we parted ways. So. Bottom line is at five, you know, she already had to go to a party. I drove her to where I dropped her off. No, sorry, when I picked her up at first, when I found her at first, and in Massachusetts and Boston. So, what happened was she started touching my my muscles, you know, and she took her hand in my shoulder and she started putting her head over on my arms and shoulders, like. I, like if we were like in a romantic way and I really enjoyed that you know that's very sweet of her and that's something that really turned me on she started saying you know she started saying that she loves me and yeah that's and then we parted ways before we parted ways we made out and then we parted ways but she wanted she wanted me to keep fingering her but you know she had to go to a party so and I promised her oh I promise her this, you know, I promise her that when I see her again, if I see her again, you know, she, if she wants, you know, she, you know, finally matures and she wants to go back together with me, you know, she doesn't care what her friends think, you know, she's, when she stops caring about, you know, when, when, you know, she will eventually stop what her friends, uh, caring what her friends think and she will go come back to me, right? She, when she comes back to me, I tell her, hey, Anna, you know, the sex today was fun. But when we go, when I go back to Puerto Rico and I see you again, we're gonna have sex in my in a in a hotel, and we're gonna have sex not ten minutes. We're gonna have sex air the entire day. I told her that, and she really wanted it. She said she never had sex the entire day before, and she started saying that I fuck more girls than she does. No, then she fucks other guys. She started telling me that, and you know that was good to hear, and. Basically, when we go, when when we start dating again, you know, I'm gonna give her the best sex of her life. I'm gonna make her squirt like thirty times or more, because we will be having sex all fucking day with no breaks, no breaks. Like sex in my bed, in our bed, actually our our bed, because we will be together. We will have sex in our bed every single day. So basically. You guys might be asking, "Hey, am I upset about the breakup?" No, it's it's not. You know, I'm happy. You know, because I had sex with her and I gave her a great time. I shared my love, and you know, she would. You know, and yeah, you know, that's basically what happened. And she would eventually come back to me, because you know, uh, you know, breakups are temporary. She would eventually come back. Cause she won't forget this moment, what we, the fun we had, and the sex we had. So she will come back to me, and you know we will eventually, hopefully get, you know we will eventually get married, and she will move in with me, and we will travel the world. So yeah, and stay tuned for my next video. It will be fucking amazing.
It would be fucking awesome. So yeah, I I'm, I'm, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, these videos. And before I leave, you know, all you fucking haters are criticizing me and her for having sex. Fuck off, you know. Stop being judgmental and start getting girls. Buy the ultimate dating course and learn how to be non-judgmental and actually, you know, give the girls what they want because girls are sexual creatures. They're horny and they want sex. So you better go out there and give them the sex that they really want. So yeah, good night, guys. Actually, good morning. I'm just joking around. <laughs> All right, at that part. I thought it was nighttime, but nah, it's, just, it's already morning time. So see you guys and stay sexy. Keep fucking girls and don't ever be judgmental, right? Bye.